Hi everyone and welcome back and thank you so much for all the lovely kind comments. You're a lovely bunch about the old barnet. The hair will grow. Maybe I'll just invest in a few little clips or something to keep it in place. Um, any recommendations, <laughs> please send them down the line. <laughs> Um, and also, just to keep you in real time, um, I've actually got my eyebrow appointment to have a few little hairs distributed around my eyebrows, I, around my eyes, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully it looks all natural, I'm sure it will. I've, I'm trusting, I've got lots of lots of high hopes for this lady, so I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous. Um, and thirdly, I wanted to talk to you about the comments that were left after Zoe and myself talked about the skincare that we liked. And this is skincare that we've liked for a number of years, over a number of years. And yes, it's very effective skincare, but it's also very expensive. Um, and I didn't wanna come back with like budget skincare, this is what's great, because the most important thing is, is that when you are following people on YouTube that you are, know that they are authentic because they've actually had enough time to experience the products to see what it has done to their skin or maybe if it's not their skin type they've given it to people that do have I don't know, a combination or whatever skin that this product looks after. So you can't just have something for a few days, it takes at least four to six weeks to see whether a product really works. So that's why I'm going to remind you all of this brilliant prescriptive skincare brand that I've talked about many times on this channel, on my Instagram channel, it's Dematica. Um, I cannot recommend this brand enough. Um, it is a monthly subscription which you can cancel at any time and I have an amazing deal that I've always had. I just want to remind you it's £2.90 for the first month and then 10% off I'm sure it is, it's all going to be in the description box, 10% uh, off the next, your following month. But what happens is you get to put all the information about you into the computer and the team, their team of dermatologists analyzes your skin for your skin condition. So it has amazing effects for creating a real glow to your skin, targeting fine lines and wrinkles and pigmentation, rosacea, melasma, acne, you name it. Whatever your issues are, then they can help you improve. So your, the texture and the quality of your skin, and it works. Um, and it's five pounds a week, really, when you obviously after the deal has happened. And it gets delivered to you in a very simple um, recyclable box like this. Um, and it's completely airtight to keep the active ingredients really, really fresh so they work. Sometimes if you expose active ingredients to um, oxygen or you leave a lid open, um, it diminishes the, the capability of the product. So be cautious of that. Um, so you get it every month. I've seen results in so many children, adults, um, grandparents who name it. It is brilliant. So please, I just wanted to give you a little bit of balance on um, the price of skin. You don't necessarily have to pay a fortune to have good skin. This has really helped my pigmentation and my glow, but all the time, obviously, I'm trying different things. So please go to my description box and give it a go. I mean, why not? I think, especially in the UK, it's very hard to get proper advice from dermatologists. So to be able to go to a brand that has that kind of insight and information expertise, um, I mean, you can't go wrong really, can you? Anyway, on to the makeup. Okay, so I've got my SPF on and I'm going to be using the Serum Foundation from The Ordinary. And this is shade 2.0N. Again, I think a lot of um, you guys have a similar skin to me where it's dry, you need a bit of coverage, but you also want a little bit of sheen. And I've found this an absolute pleasure to use because as in the description, um, it feels like a serum when it goes on the skin. So if you're someone who doesn't like to drag your skin or you're someone who finds that when you put on foundation to your skin, it kind of dehydrates your skin. Um, and it doesn't allow it to breathe and it feels and looks like makeup, then this is gonna be a great option. They have loads of colors, loads of shades, um, and it's obviously, again, an amazing price point. But for me, um, the winner of this, the winning part of this product is the feel and the texture. It just, at this time of year, when you sort of just feel a little bit dry and a little bit sort of flat, this kind of just gives that little bit of um, luminosity and glow to your skin. Again, I'm just applying it with my fingers just to really push it into the skin. It's very 
um, slippery but as you can see it's not like oily or you know over glowy and that's why I like it. I'm going to start with that foundation that's really nice but obviously I will as if you look at my face um, and as if you look at your own face if you just put the foundation on it's never quite enough it's always about lifting these areas these areas and just under here just where my face is looking a little bit darker that's where I kind of want to add a little bit of lift so I can't go wrong with the Rimmel Multitasker Concealer I mean it's just absolutely fantastic and again I wouldn't apply it around the eyes from the doe foot because the doe foot is it just delivers a lot of product um, so just a little bit with your ring finger is probably all you need on the darker areas but I wouldn't use it around here um, because you'll find that it will enhance the lines because it's obviously quite a heavy texture you want to just use sorry it's not a heavy texture at all because it's got a high coverage um, it will sit in between the lines not that it's going to enhance the lines but it will just make those lines a little bit more obvious um, so just apply this type of um, concealer where you want coverage where you want to add light but in terms of that lovely kind of shaping that I do where I kind of lift the concealer up into this kind of like um, I like to call it my little superhero mask I, I find that it's too heavy for that area of my face but that's because I'm nearly 50 um, if you're younger of course you can tolerate a much much heavier foundation but if you're my age or nearer my age I wouldn't use the doe foot but I would use the doe foot if I've got the darker colour here which I use and I'm just using them all the time of course it's disappeared hasn't it um, on my chin I sort of just did like a little wall paint makeup um, in the mornings because it just tends to last and it's nice and quick then I will use the doe foot to kind of cover a larger surface area of my face but I just like to get the light in my face so I feel that that's where I kind of you know that's where it's aging me where I have the kind of darkness so if I feel that my nose isn't so red and I'm not so dark in the inner corners of my eyes and I've got a bit of shape around my eyes I feel a lot better <laughs> that's just my thing I'm not going to use any powder that just settles really beautifully into the skin but highly recommend this as a really good skin duo I'm going to use these and I want to show you because you know I'm a huge huge hourglass fan and I say that because I love the design I love the packaging I love the textures I love the formulas um, but uh, look at this the tigers the butterflies and the elephants these are the new ambient lighting edit unlocked collection um, and they have collaborated with um, a London-based illustrator Katie Scott a limited edition collection is a celebration of the natural world reflecting the vast spectrum of beauty in the animal kingdom and 5% of the profits from Unlocked Support, the non-human rights project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. Um, and this is the lady and that is her designing all the palettes. And I just think it's a really, really beautiful gift. Um, it's obviously a vegan brand. If you've got an animal, um, an animal loving friend which I'm sure pretty much all of us are animal loving aren't we that'd be a bit weird wouldn't it I'm not an animal lover I don't hear that very often thank the lord well actually anyway let's not go down that road this is just about this is just about a nice space for makeup and beauty and a just release from this world <laughs> um so I uh, yes anyway so the elephant palette um is really beautiful kind of nudes and pinks really good for a sort of pale to medium skin tone nice bright colors if you've got an olivey skin this will be really nice for a kind of real lift and that can give you a nice little bit of shape as well as these kind of like highlighting shades here butterfly one um it's again for probably a paler skin but again it's got the lovely kind of like um well, a ambient is famous for those kind of like multi-tonal pigments and the beautiful highlighting products that just it's just something about the way they reflect the light which is beautiful um, but I am going to be using the tiger palette today now you would I would probably have this in my collection for sort of like medium to darker skin tones because it's really flattering but I just want to use these warmer colors as I kind of want to make my makeup look a little bit cozy but if you want to do it in kind of skin tones and these would be lovely but I just thought if you want to gift makeup then these are just really really beautiful and you know they're, they're pricey so they are a gift 
um, to yourself, of course, or to your friends, <laughs> loved ones. Right, let me just do a little bit more brow blade. I'll just use the um, coal because I did ink them up. I wonder what they'll look, whether well, I'll need to do much of this when I've had my new little microblades in. We will see. Um, I just want to fill that in, first of all. So how are we all? I hope you're all well. And uh, trying to avoid getting all the sniffles and coughs and colds <laughs> that are going around. Um, trying to keep myself as well as possible. There's only so much you can do there, right? There we go, just filling those eyebrows like so. Um, let me, so first of all, I'm gonna add my brightness. Now the Beauty Pie Little Star, which is actually from my edit, the creamy eyeshadow one here, right? This is the one that I use just in the inner corner here of my, which is really like, it's like a winter favorite. Or, well, it doesn't actually, not, it's not particularly seasonal if I'm honest, but it's just one of those products that I know that if I put on, especially in this area of my face where I'm darker and what makes me tired, what looks tired, that just kind of gives me my instant brightness. So I'm just going to put that just a little bit more over my lid. Um, and I love layering this with other products. Um, and I always use the cream first and then put the powder over the top. But it's one of those products that just kind of adds a little bit of something, um, but just always brightness. I do have a little bit of mascara on, but I will build on that. Um, and I've got some new brushes sent very kindly to me from Otis Battersby. Look at these lovely coloured wands of magic. Very, very nice and very, very soft on the eye. So I'm going to be using, actually not numbered, oh yes it is, I'm going to be using the 109 and the 110 from the Otis Battersby brushes. They're like sort of ice cream colours, aren't they? Chocolate strawberry it actually makes my mouth water. Right, I'm gonna go in with a really lovely rosy color. That's the kind of makeup that I wanted to do. Really kind of warm and coppery. And this really drew my attention. Look how beautiful that would look on a dark skin, like as a blusher or something like that. But I'm gonna blend it into my eye. Oh, you see this color just radiates joy for me because it's got life. It's got life and I love that, it's not flat. Because I think, because I feel flat, you know? I don't want a matte brown on my eye. I want something that's gonna give me a little bit of elevation. And that's what I feel with this shade. It's the first time I put it on my eye, actually. I put these straight in my pro kit and I thought, no, 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 hang on a minute, hang on a minute. These need to come out and be celebrated. So I do like to have, like when I do someone's makeup, I do like to have a nice array of products for people to choose from and enjoy because that's a nice thing about someone you know doing your makeup isn't it that they come and you know they have something that you can look at we're all sort of beauty magpies if you're watching me you're definitely a beauty magpie because you enjoy the process of makeup you enjoy color this color is a therapy isn't it um actually a friend of mine um is really working hard at her new um platform and um she does people's colors um, I often get not into arguments with her, but I'm like, yes, but if I want to wear pale green, I will. <laughs> and she's like, no, because you have to do this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yes, but all the shops don't do all the jumpers in certain colours. It's really hard to shop. Anyway, she's been doing some really great work. Maybe I'll include the link to her website if you're interested. It was a big thing in the 80s, wasn't it? Um, doing your colours. Um, and then people would really, really stick to it. But she has absolutely she absolutely is totally oopsie passionate about this she's talked about it for years and years and years and now she's finally done it so I'm very proud of her um right so that's that now as you can see I hopefully you will see that that needs to be a little bit softer so clean brush and blend 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 so that it just goes a little bit softer like a nice sunset. Hello, Mr. Postman. Great, I love that. Now, going in with a different application tool, guess which tool I'm going to be using? Yep, my cotton bud. And I'm going to be using the darker one, the matte 
is it matte? No, it's slightly, slightly iridescent, but less shiny than the other ones. I'm going to be using the flat side of it, and I'm going to place that right on my lower lash line, quite smudgy, and then just on the outer side, very, very softly, just to kind of create a really soft hue, but not too much, not too much, just to kind of create shape. I do like a lift on my eye um, when I do the mascara on the top and the eyeshadow just on the top, but sometimes it's just quite nice to have a sultry, sultry look and then push that very gently into the outside, but not too much, just so that it connects and it takes it away from being sort of like two separate eyes. This will all connect, it looks a bit, diff looks a bit um, bright compared to my pale skin, um, but I promise you once I've warmed up with blusher and stuff and lip, it will all come together, but I know you trust me, <laughs> sometimes. Right, okay, so now we'll go in with Diego de la Palma. I found a really lovely soft chocolate um, eyeliner. For me, black would be too much with this. Black would be too hard. Um, but if you've got very dark eyebrows and dark eyes, then go for the black, why not? But I'm just feeling sort of soft and smudgy. I'm not feeling kind of really sort of strong and striking and it will come together um, when I put the mascara on but I thought just because the light is low and there isn't much daylight. I do love the twinkle lights. I put more twinkle lights in my garden um, last year and it made such a difference because we've got these sort of like sliding doors that go into a little garden. But obviously, we, well, not obviously, if we don't have a curtain, we could just get a curtain to hide the darkness, but sometimes it feels very dark. Anyway, I filled the garden with, well, not fill the garden, <laughs> <laughs> Put some sparkly lights in there. And, oh, makes such a difference, doesn't it? If anyone's got any good fairy light links, then please share. Really, really like that. Very, very nice pencil. Good brand, this. Um, right, I thought it is that time. It is that time where I'm going to come back with my Elf Sparkle. Although I love the Elf Sparkle anyway, as you know, because I had it in my box. Um, and uh, it's just so nice here. Blobbed on top of the eyeshadow. Have you used your elves? If you did get my box, you probably learnt that I just love to have a little bit of daytime sparkle, but also it's really, really nice, just layered on top of an eyeshadow, just to give another dimension, not too much, you know, just a little bit of softness. And shall I put a little bit just over there? Just in that area. But I might soften that because I don't want that to be too strong. I don't want that to appear too, too made up. Yeah, actually I'd prefer if I just put the beauty pie there, not that too, because then it just looks a bit too dressed up. But anyway, when I do it next time, tomorrow, then I might need to, but I definitely love it on my lids. I just think that looks really pretty. So let's use um, Ilia mascara I chose um, for this look and I chose it because, for those of you who know me well, it is a short stubby bristle brush, um, moulded, yeah, bristle and moulded brush, bristles here, the moulds here, and it's got the channels across the side so you get lots and lots of um, uh, mascara at the roots. So first of all, go through with the moulded ones to get lots of mascara on. And then, to soften it, twist it round so that you don't get too much. You see how that just softens that lash and that comes a little bit lighter at the end. But it means that you get the good lift from the top, yeah? Let's pop that back in there. And do underneath. You should get some good lipsticks out actually as well for do a lip look, I haven't done that in a while. I could sit and talk about makeup forever and ever and ever, and hours and hours and hours. Good, okay. Let me just get the shade of the e.l.f. because it's such a pretty colour. Um, it is shade Moon, but we'll put it in the description box anyway. Um, lovely, okay, so here we are with the eyes. 
Let's warm up the face. So I'm gonna take one of Otis's big brushes because um, I just want to see how the product sits on my skin and build it up slowly. So I'm basically taking the big brush and going in the last two. That's the thing about these palettes is that you can really mix them up. And let's see how that reads on my skin. Oh, look at that. It's literally just like turning the lights on the complexion. Lovely. I remember the first time I was introduced to Hourglass. I was in Liberties and the chap who was serving behind the counter, his skin was like ethereal, like candlelit glow. And I was like, what is on your skin? And it was the ambient powders. And I thought, wow, if you can make your skin look like that in a um, department store, I'm joining your club. Right, let's go for a little bit of the pinky then because I think if I go with any other colours, it might be too much just to lift very slowly because that's nice and warm. It's taken the coolness out, hasn't it? I might just do a little bit just underneath my neck just to kind of balance that up with the chin, etc. Nice big, needs a nice big brush because they're, they're punchy. But let's see if I add a little bit of pink into that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And softens it up very nicely. Yeah, it's just nice to combine the colours together. I always think when you do sort of like bronzing and these kind of blushy colours together, it reminds me of sort of like warm winter baked fruit. I don't know why it does, just always it makes it feel cosy and warm and push that blush right up there, right into my cheek. So it kind of just, now that looks a little bit wind burnt now I've moved back. Let's just see if we can get a clean brush then and soften that if that's the light coming through. It's just reading a lot on camera, so I don't want to do that because that makes it look quite angular, so let's just clean that up a little bit, very lightly. Softening it down. So I might just take my Rimmel, same colour, so it's like the super light one, with this brush. So this is one of Otis's brushes, but I don't know which one it is, I do apologise because it's not written on it. So if you think like me that you possibly, I like the effect on the side, really like that effect, but just at the front sometimes it can go a little bit too forward. So I just want to almost like a very soft eraser. Just, yeah, just give that a little bit of a nice professional polished edge to it, I suppose. I want them to melt together, so let me just go back with the brown. There we are. Really nice and warm. Skin that's lovely. So happy with that. Okay, right now for lip, which we definitely need balance with. You wouldn't walk out and then leave your lip like that because it looks like I've got no lip at all. So, we're going to use something soft. I don't really want a lip, strong lipstick. I'm going to use 1999, I think, for this. And this is an American brand I've used before. And they basically do, just do pencils. Pencils for the eyes, the cheeks, the lips. And you can just use all the different pigments on different areas of your face. So you become your own artist just with the pencils. Uh, but with this one, I love the tone. And uh, it's really, really soft transfers really well. It's like a lovely, lovely natural look colour. And I've had these mm, for well over a year. But that's so quick. And they don't dry the lips. And that's just a, such a nice lip shaper. And they don't get waxy. You know how some lip liners can be really waxy. If you just do what I did there and just take the colour from your bottom lip and then use your own lip motion to just transfer it, you get a nice soft finish but so creamy, so lovely. I like the way that that's made my lips look. And I'll match that with um, Summer Fridays. Now Summer Fridays um, is pretty new to the UK 
Um, it's been sold in Space NK and they became really kind of, I think, famous for their vitamin C serum. It's really big in Los Angeles. I met the two girls, um, the founders of the brand, a couple of months ago and they really, I could smell the Los Angeles sunshine on them. They were just gorgeous. Um, this is their lip butter balm, which is new to me, but again, it's a really lovely product for this time of year. Um, and it just brings out your own lip colour. Mmm, but better. Sort of coconutty, mm, vanilla-y, but not overpowering. Lovely. There you are, she's come together a bit more now, hasn't she? And I know that you guys like to see how things move together. I'm gonna to go back in with a little bit more pink. I know you're gonna say, no, don't do that. But I just want a little bit more pink just up here, just to lift so I don't look too angular. Because my thing is I can look too angular. So I'm just gonna push my cheeks up there just a little bit. And then maybe just bring a few little tendrils down, tuck them behind the ear just to sort of soften it up. Um, with my big cozy jumper. Yep, I'm happy with that look. So. I really hope that you enjoyed the choice of products that I used, that the colours that I used and just sort of embracing that kind of nice warmth and it just means that you can apply colours that are um, soft and delicate but still kind of create like a, a smoky vibe. Um, but it's, oh, I hope I haven't got lipstick on my teeth. The famous trick, right? Always do that. Don't start signing off your film, Caroline, before you've stuck your finger in your mouth. <laughs> Anyway, this is kind of my autumnal, wintry, pre-Christmas makeup that makes me feel all warm and cosy. I just need a big fat polar neck really, don't I? Anyway, thank you for being fabulous and I hope you enjoyed the film. Much love.